You know, I always knew in my heart that uh, I wanted to help people, uh, number one. So ever since, you know, I was always interested in the sciences, but by the time I got to middle school, I kind of figured that, you know, I think uh, this is where I need to be in terms of uh, pursuing a career and a calling in medicine. A lot of folks will say, coming into family medicine, oh, they're, you know, we're the gatekeepers. And, you know, Dr. Davidson actually told me this, my, uh, one of my mentors over at Akron General in the family medicine program. Well, it's really not the gatekeepers. We're, we're more like the quarterbacks of the team. We hold on to the, the, the patient if we want to, you know, basically do the management um, uh, mostly on our own. If we, if we need to send the patient uh, to a specialist, we can do that as well. But we really are there with the patients and doing life with them all along the way. A lot of the patients that we, uh, we encounter uh, are patients that have gone through a lot of stressors, that have gone through uh, major life challenges and experienced depression, experienced anxiety and, you know, bipolar. I want to be able to, um, to let the patients know that it's okay, that they're, they're, they can get through whatever uh, difficulties they're experiencing in life. I have a love for my patients. You know, I see my family members in my patients and I treat them as such. Uh, I think it's so important um, for me to do that because when I, when I treat my patients with love and, and, when, I, and when I serve them uh, from an aspect of love, then you know, we're able to be able to take care of them and, and improve their care the way they need to be improved. We're able to build those relationships. We're able to grow and, um, and, and get them the care that they need. They're able to open up to us as well. So I really do appreciate that.